W what is this in here? Thinking the unthinkable. Up until the weekend, this startup making sustainable cosmetics had been making plans for expansion. Then, for a moment, it stared into the abyss. This was us basically contingency planning what non-essential spend we were going to have to cut if we couldn't access any of our money. Life Supply is one of thousands of tech companies with deposits at Silicon Valley Bank, which collapsed on Friday. Building a company is, honestly, it's part of you, and you put so much, like, of your blood sweat, you know, and, and tears into it, and you've built the te this team that all deeply care about this mission of removing plastic out of the bathroom. You know, it's basically like losing a child, frankly. It would have been, it would have been heartbreaking when that started to become the reality. After a frantic weekend of negotiations at the Bank of England, the bank was sold to HSBC for all of one pound. A relief, not just for tech firms, but in Westminster too. But this was a story which nearly ended very differently. It's hard to describe the degree of drama in the Bank of England over the course of the weekend. People working through the night, there were secret code names for different parties, and up until the very last minute, the assumption actually was that rather than getting sold, Silicon Valley Bank would have been made insolvent. That would have meant that any deposits over £85,000 would not have been guaranteed, and that would have been a disaster for many firms throughout the tech ecosystem. The story of the American bank has ended less well. No buyer has yet been found, and Joe Biden's administration stepped in to ensure depositors wouldn't lose money. Here are the highlights. First, all customers who had deposits in these banks can rest assured, I want to rest assured they'll be protected and they'll have access to their money as of today. Second, the management of these banks will be fired. If the bank is taken over by FDIC, the people running the bank should not work there anymore. The worry is, it's a sign of more turbulence to come. The regulators should um, take heed, if you like, of, of the need to ensure that this particular risk that we've seen transpire a couple of times over the, over the past year of exposure to falling bond prices, that, that, that there are not more institutions that are facing that sort of risk. We have the coolest clients of any bank anywhere. Silicon Valley Bank is no more. Its clients on both sides of the Atlantic live on. Our clients invent the future. But the episode has raised fresh fears that in an era of rising interest rates, there could be more drama yet to come. Ed Conway, Sky News.